is awakening about a religion or belief system? This is a bit of a complex question with a bit of a complex answer. But if I had to answer it in a word, I would say no. It often surprises people when they do have a true shift in identity, a transformation in identity. What replaces that small, confined, struggling sense of self is vast. It's beyond description, free, it's fluid, but it doesn't feel particularly spiritual. And it's certainly not any kind of belief system. It's not about a certain religion. Now, with this shift, if we have a background in a certain type of tradition that specifically teaches or points to this possibility, such as Zen, for instance, or perhaps Advaita Vedanta or Dzogchen, then we will understand the context and we'll see how those ancient wisdom teachings have been pointing to this. But we'll also see simultaneously how our own interpretation of those, those doctrines, our interpretation of those teachings, the flavor that our mind added to them before awakening is not actually what awakening is. It, in one sense, could have been more like a distraction. Some misguided thought form and we believe, oh, I have this new way of thinking, this new way of perceiving the world or myself that feels spiritual, it feels like whatever. And that's going to lead to awakening. But aren't we surprised when the whole tendency to use any paradigm to define ourselves or reality breaks open, breaks down? We come to the end of trying to use paradigms to make ourselves stop suffering. And through a certain kind of exhaustion, it hits us right over the head. When that happens, we realize, oh my goodness, it's never been about that. It's about something so much more intimate, so much more close, immediate. It's not about something that happened 2,500 years ago. It's about something that's happening right now and always has been happening right now, outside of time. And it's effortless. It's already the case, always the case. Couldn't not be the case. Here for you now. Here as everything that you experience right now. This is what we realize, what we wake up to. So in this, it's kind of flavorless in one sense, but in the most beautiful way. Flavorless in the most freeing way. Flavorless in the most peaceful way. That's the freedom of it all. So, is it about religion or spirituality? Essentially, no. But at the core of all religions, or essentially all religions, there's a teaching, or a pointing, or a transmission, or a realized being, an enlightened one, that said some words, and the words weren't to give you something to believe. They weren't to get, tell you how to live. They were to point you right back to your true nature, right here and right now. And you'll know that. But the flavor of it, the experience of it, is more like crystal clear purity, absolute simplicity, innocence, freedom, spontaneity. It doesn't have the flavor of belief, doctrine, history, religion, not at all. So, can you let go of your idea of spirituality, your idea of religion, Zen, awakening? Can you let go of any experience you've had in the past that you've defined as a little taste of awakening? Let go of that flavor. Let go of all flavors. Let go of the belief that it's something about understanding, rearranging your beliefs in the right way, finding the most nuanced teachings. Let go of that. It'll hit you right over the head if you let go authentically enough, fully enough, deeply enough. That's what this is about.
It's about landing right back into who or what you've always been, which won't be a principle, won't be an object, won't be something you can put in words, but it will be very obvious, imperturbable, unquestionable, more real than real. That's your birthright. This is your birthright.